Well, let's not hesitate. Let's uh, jump in. Wait, record? 800? Huh. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a subtitle or, or what. <laughs> oh, well, I, I wasn't imagining this to be like an arcade game with a score, but uh. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, all right. Um, check for updates. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty nifty, uh, a nifty thing to have in your game that I don't think I've ever seen in any Ichio game that we've yeah. played so far. For sure, yeah, that's really cool. Granted, a lot of them don't need it because they're small little jam games that are one-off things, but big ups. Let's, uh, let's start. Yeah. All right. Yes. Cool little cutscene intro. Some pretty good yeah. pixel art. Yeah. <laughs> and I like you can crawl. I do like that a lot too. Your your color scheme though is kind of reminiscent of Master Blaster. That's what I'm oh, thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the design a little bit too. Oh yeah, you did kind of wear like a I don't know, BMX helmet or something like that. It looked like a, yeah, one of those. So should I turn the audio back up, do you think? Well, there's going to be more voices for sure. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, I guess it'd be nice if this did have volume sliders for voice and music, but there is no music. Not yet, at least. Right. Kind of a cool looking design choice. Your sprite is gigantic. Where usually in Metroidvanias, you're kind of like a fourth this size. Yeah, that does tend to be the case. Most games, I would say, most modern Metroidvanias tend to make the player a little too small for my my tastes. I guess it's because they have a very large emphasis on platforming and... Uh, Showing off the grand scale of the environment you're in. Right. But it kind of works here being a lot bigger because it's a lot more Jesus claustrophobic Christ. of an environment. Ooh, shit. <laughs> like that gore. Gore effect. And I just like crawling around. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the animation is so satisfying, and it's actually slower than your walk, so it's a proper crawl. Although I do kind of miss jumping. I'm finding myself trying to press a jump when there isn't one. I know, it's a, it's a bit of an odd decision to just have these context-sensitive like jumps when you hit the edge of a ledge or something. Yeah, you feel kind of clunky. And very tanky when you can't jump. Yeah. Pretty uh, good music too. I'm liking it. <laughs> Not even like uh, ambient noises, which usually accompany scary games. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. The page did advise to conserve your bullets, and I'm wondering if maybe it means there's some sort of platforming way to dodge the zombies, like finding a ladder to a platform that goes over them or something. So far I've killed everyone I've come across. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. What are you up to? It looks like you're on the moon or some shit. Yeah, I went into the uh, right side hatch that you unlock by pressing the button. There's like a train graveyard or something here. Oh, I guess that's dust, not stars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just realized that too. There was a crystal blocking a ladder and I shot it and blew it up. <laughs> Did it turn into a bunch of little crystals? Yes. Well, it turned into some power-ups. I'm not sure what the um, 
the number in the lower left is. I got those. Maybe those are the yeah the, sh the shard things they were talking about. Yeah, so you're looking for crystal shards, but also the fountain of life. Okay, I guess there is ambient sound going on, but it it's so damn low when adjusted for the voice actors that you can't even hear it. Is this game reminiscent of any you've played before? Mm, not really. Um, just like the style kind of reminds me of uh, old computer games, like a an old DOS game or something. So it kind of mm. reminds me of. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little death animation you actually turn into one of them when you oh, lose wow. your, your helmet so that dude wasn't lying ah <laughs> huh. oh, shit but I lost all my crystals and my no. bullets and everything damn so this kind of is arcadey I guess I feel like you should get like a melee attack or something because I find myself out of ammo and I just have to like tank a hit you were supposed to conserve your bullets oh, bruh fuck that <laughs> you're in this kind of uh, decrepit space station-y place and they have nice regular oak wooden doors <laughs> right <Very funny>. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah the kind of size to like the size of you versus the environment makes me think of a game boy game Definitely. It reminds me of, um, I mean, Metroid 2, you know, for Game Boy, you were like big as fuck in that game. <laughs> yeah, you had to be big if you wanted your character sprite to have any sort of detail. Yeah. It's either that or you have your microscopic like sprites like Pokemon and such. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! Oh. Ah! Damn, I just got manhandled by a zombie <laughs> oh no hey just like the title image oh my god <laughs> oh yeah oh I guess I'm bleeding which is the health indicator I did notice that earlier yeah okay so I was just thinking I wish there was a health meter uh huh but now I kind of wish it was a little more, or a little less nebulous, I guess. Right, same. Oh yeah. wait, okay, so now I've stopped bleeding, so I guess the health recovers, alright. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> sure, right about that, yeah. A, a, a bar would be nice. Yeah, but that's too cliche, bro. Doesn't fit the atmosphere. <laughs> Ruins the feng shui. Yeah. Huh? This must have been how the employees got it. Have you been pulling off headshots or body shots? I didn't even know you could do headshots. <laughs> I've been doing body shots. Okay, that's that changes things. Yeah, you do have to let them get dangerously close though. But I think it just takes one bullet. Okay. Well, I I got through the game. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I didn't see all there is to see, but I did um, get to the end sequence, and it, that record is like the number of fragments that you got out with. Okay. Your your, your record or whatever. What was your record? Uh, eight seventy. Eight seventy. Dang, because I'm rocking a fifteen hundred over here. Yeah, I skipped some stuff, obviously. <laughs> so. Yeah, you are the one who made it out alive <laughs> yeah let me i'm gonna go back in see if i can see some stuff i know and i can try some headshots now headshot i do like the voice acting they don't say a whole lot but uh it's nice and it adds to a gives it gives the character some uh some personality makes them stand out a little more Oh, 
Oh shit, damn. <laughs> he just rained shards on me. <laughs> but I, I like how your design is all very simple, and then you got these grotesque ass zombies <laughs> running around. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh yeah, you can run, I forgot. <laughs> well, I can just imagine running straight into an enemy. Yeah. But the, this yeah. game's atmosphere is making me be a lot a lot more cautious. Mm. Oh shit, I was almost right, bro. What the fuck? If you got the running, you should add in a, a timer or something. Get a time bonus when you finish. I agree, yeah, that'd be awesome. I feel like there aren't very many games that can justify not having a timer. Just because how many games are speedrun nowadays. Hmm. May as well just beat them to the, to the punchline and have a timer built into your game. Yeah. Especially if it's like an accurate timer. Like the speedrun community would be all over that kind of shit. Yeah. And that's something you could do as the developer to know to start at the frame that the game starts when you push start or whatever. Right. Hmm. Shit, so I'm realizing the, the enemies keep respawning, mm -hmm. but I only have so much ammo left, so I feel like I need to conserve it for some second boss coming up. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, there was that weird-ass statue in the beginning. Oh shit. Because I'm wondering where the ending is. I haven't found it yet. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It does have to do with that statue, I will say that. Oh shit. Missing something. What? Shit, alright. I don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> um, I got two key cards, right? Did you get the one on top of the train? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you want to head back a little bit, I think. Oh, you can go more back. Okay. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that fucking fall I had was, like, the scariest thing about this game so far. <laughs> Ah, shit. I'm empty. No. Ah, uh, now I have to run like a wimp. The um, sound effect that plays whenever your character uh, activates her, like, intercom or her her radio, it sounds like the sticky keys um, sound. The sticky <laughs> keys? Yeah. Yeah, oh. sticky keys. The windows. <laughs> the windows. I'm talking about. Yeah, I didn't make that connection. I'll have to pay attention next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I mean, every time I'm like, wait a minute, did I mash a key too hard or something? <laughs> Frankie says could use a bit of dramatic lighting. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it, it is sure. kind of uh, dull lighting wise. Yeah. Oh, okay. This looks familiar. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, come here, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, it's it's doing the infinite cycle. Damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get a lure out of it. This looks like it belongs to the statue. Oh, all right. Fuck. <laughs> I get it now. Oh, hey, music's playing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the kick in at the end. Oh shit, alright, now there's turrets going off and everything. Yeah, be careful with the ladder ones, because you start walking up those ladders automatically. So that hand was some sort of La Mulana trap? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. It turned on all the little guns. What did your best record end up being? Um, I got 2600 just now. Nice. 
that was after the um, revelation that you could shoot people in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that makes me wonder if they drop more crystals for uh, shooting them in the head. It kind of seems like it. I don't know. Oh, run. Oh, fuck. There's a thing on me. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. I, oh god, there's still more. <laughs> I only have five bullets. Oh hey, it's the fountain. Oh my god. Yeah, we found it. We did it! Yay! <laughs> okay, I got the fragments. I'll be out soon. Good. Hope to see them here soon. Oh no. I think this place oh, is shit. down. Fuck, oh, come on, I hate that. I hate that trope of the place falling apart <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> yeah. Frankie says the enemies and shooting make make him think of Lone Survivor a bit. Are you familiar with that? I've heard of that game. I think I... I might even have it, but I, I don't know it. Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Oh, fuck, climb faster. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. You can get off, get off to the side, it'll, it'll go away. Just a bit closer. Oh shit, oh my god. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, shit off. <laughs> oh, come on. How the fuck do I get. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. I'm gonna fucking die. Keep going. Keep oh, wait, keep wait, going. wait. Oh, yeah. This is the beginning. Shit. You're there. You're there. You're there. Nice. <laughs> and then the whole earth collapses behind you. <laughs> Damn, photo finish. <laughs> yeah. I made it out. I'll be back soon. 3,700. Nice. Damn, 3,700? Holy moly. <laughs> well, I did backtrack a little bit looking for uh, the arm that oh. I was supposed to get, but... uh, I see, okay. Damn. <laughs> that got real intense at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there was music, too. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And uh, nice for uh, crediting the voice actors, too. Yeah. Always nice when game makers do that. Mm -hmm. Although I didn't hear the, the sticky keys sound. <laughs> I guess I need to play it again and, and turn up my volume a little bit more to catch it. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I'm crazy. One of the two. <laughs> Sticky keys. <laughs> yeah, I swear it sounded like that. Nice. Yeah, well, that was fun. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Based on the page, I did think it was going to be a lot more uh, super action-y instead of this kind of, kind of Resident Evil-esque, like, slow horror with limited ammo and stuff like that. Yeah, I felt very, like, survival horror. Yeah, I thought I'd be blasting zombies left and right or something like uh, in a Metroid setting. Yeah. But uh, what we played was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What was your score again? Uh, 2600. Damn, bro. Damn, I beat you by 1100. Holy fuck. I know, man. yeah. Damn. I was like, whoa. This guy got a lot of fragments. Yeah. <laughs> that is a neat touch, though, that you have to get them. And purify them and make it out of there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a whole story arc to an arcade game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that was uh, neat. I give it uh, 3,700 out of uh, 2,600. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn, what would that be? Let me see. Uh, 142.3%. 